Can we also talk a bit about Paul Pogba, uh, Paul Ince? Mm -hmm. And his future has been up in the air ever since he joined the club. And in the past yeah. week, his agent, on, on the eve of them playing a crucial Champions League game, which they didn't win and crashed out the competition, he comes out to say that it's over between Pogba and the club he was at as a young player before leaving to Juventus. It's done. It's finished. How did he perform today? Were you surprised he started the game? What does it say about Oli and his handling of the situation? Um, I mean, listen, I, I think I was surprised. I think the timing from um, his agent, Raiola, was bad, bad timing, especially for a massive Champions game against Leipzig. Um, whether that had any effect on on the result, I don't think so. But he came on the second half against Leipzig and did ever so well. And with Pogba, what you see, if you give him time and space, he, 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 can, he can open teams up. You know, he really, really can. Um, Listen, maybe Oli thought he, he, this was a game for Paul Pogba where it's Manchester City, it's a derby game. He is a world-class player at times. Um, he's let his agent say too much. I mean, my agent wouldn't say that. I'm sure Pablo's agent would be coming out and dictating to Manchester United what my player's going to do. But I just feel now's the time for Pogba to go. Um, under Mourinho, there were so many problems um, coming out in, into the papers would never happen under Sir Alex Ferguson. Never. Um, <clears throat> and it's from day one this has started. And, um, you know, he's never really adhered himself to the fans, even though he was there as a young kid. You know, he came back, started moaning. His performances were very inconsistent, so to speak. Um, and then he started telling, the, you know, the mate not fans that he wants to leave. So they never really took to Paul Pogba. And the only way they were going to take to Paul Pogba is by his performances on the pitch. Now, if I'm Paul Pogba and I'm saying I'm a world-class player and I can't get in this Manchester United team ahead of Fred, McTonamy, Matic, Fernandes, then I have to look at myself. There must be something wrong for me, Pablo, if I can't get in this team as Paul Pogba. Because we know when he wants to play, he's a world-class player. But we've not seen it enough. And I think... The best thing for Manchester United is for Paul Pogba to leave. And I actually thought when they signed um, Van der Beek, I thought that was preparation for Pogba to go. But obviously it's not because Van der Beek didn't even get on today, which is, which is totally embarrassing for me. Uh, they didn't get on the pitch. Um, but every week, every month, we see something coming out of Old Trafford about Paul Pogba, his agent. And it, it, upsets, it upsets the club, it upsets the fans, it upsets the changing room. This wouldn't happen in our time with the likes of Roy Keane and Brian Robson and Mark Hughes, Cantona. We, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't deal with people you know, doing these things and upsetting what we're trying to achieve. Um, but it seems that Old Trafford is not allowed to do what he wants, what he wants, how he wants. Um, so I think Ollie's obviously tried to get a tune out of him today against a big, a big game, City Derby. And at times he was OK. It wasn't great. But he, he was OK. Um, I don't envisage him being at the club uh, at the end of the season. He said he wants to go. He said that last year. Um, he wants an extension. So I think it's best that both parties just part with him, let him go and do what he wants to do. Not sure where he's going to go. I'm not sure, <laughs> you know, what teams are going to want him because he's not playing at the moment, you know, and, and, and he's not playing well at the moment or well enough to go to another big three or four in, in, in Europe. So um, he needs to knuckle down now to the end of the season, try and improve his game, keep putting performances in, stay at the papers, tell his agent to shut his mouth and let him concentrate on his game and then see what happens in the summer. Pablo, what do you think about that and how Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has chosen to handle the situation? I think I'm agree with Paul, you know. Um... When when Pogba came to to Man United, we um, we expected you know uh, the same um, Pogba who played for France, you know a leader, uh, a man who you know who who show his quality, and I'm and I'm sure he's a a great player. But uh, consistency is something that you need when you are a top club, and this is what Man United is as a club, uh, and and and. 
And apart from the apart from that, you you have to show respect to, to the fans. You cannot allow uh, your Asian to come out every time and and, and say, uh, oh, this here Paul is not happy. Is this and that? No, 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 no. You, 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 if you're not happy, you should tell the manager. You should tell the club, and you have to leave. Simple as that. You cannot be in a place if you're not happy. But the, what you need when you're at a top club is just um, commitment. Uh, you need to show leadership. You need to to show on the pitch uh, how good you are. And then I think you, you will have the respect from everyone. But I don't see this happening at the minute with the uh, Popa. And, and I think the pressure will be on, on Shoshaga at the end of the season if... Uh, you know, if he doesn't change his, um, you know, in the way he behaves. Uh, simple as that. You, you brought up an interesting point there. We only have about four minutes till we have to wrap things up, so the conversation has to be brief. But, Paul, the pressure on Solskjaer at all the big clubs, how many can you say the manager is living almost game by game, whereby, oh, <laughs> we're going to give him the next match to prove himself, and then he'll have a further six weeks to try and churn out some decent results. How many times have we said this about Solskjaer? He's, he's been in charge of over 100 games now. Uh, yeah, it, well, yeah, he's been in charge nearly two, two years now. Uh, two years, obviously, this, this month. So, um, and we all, we all keep saying the same thing. You know, he wants one or two wins and then people go, he's OK. Um, then he loses someone and people ask him to be sacked. Listen, I mean, it's always going to be pressure for Oli to get results. When you've got, like, to Pochettino not working, you've got Allegri not working. You know, every time Mate United don't win a game or go on a run when they're not winning games, that those managers are always going to come out. Um, but for Oli, for some for reason, he keeps winning games when he has to win games. And um, today was a game today where he didn't want to lose the game. Getting knocked out of the Champions League and losing to City, you can imagine the pressure to be purely um, on, 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 on Oli. Um, so, listen, as a manager, we know that you've got to be winning games. If you don't, you're always going to be under pressure. Um, but he's still in the seat. I mean, a year ago, I'm not sure many people would have said he would have stayed and be still be Manchester United manager. But he is. And, you know, hopefully he, he can continue that role because if he's still at Manchester United, then that means Man United are doing well. And, you know, I want Man United to do well. But if they don't, then we know the pressure is going to keep mounting and mounting. Will a Pochettino or an Allegri improve Manchester United? Paul? I, 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 I think the thing about Manchester United is, is they're, they're so inconsistent. And one minute we think, you know, they're going forward and they're progressing. And then next minute you think, well, we're, we're back to square one. Um, I think, listen... I don't like to talk about other managers when someone else is in, in, in the manager's job. Um, but we see what Pochettino did at, um, at Tottenham, what he did at Southampton. Um, so it's not down to me. It's down to Edward Woodward. Well, Edward Woodward has had to make a decision whether the future is Oli Skolska and Man United. And what he sees at Manchester United at the moment, is it progressive enough to keep Oli in the job? Um, that's his decision. Anyone who comes into this club has got a great club, great history and great players. But unless Oli gets a team more played on consistent bases, he's always going to be under criticism. And managers know that. Whether it's at Manchester United or Manchester City, Liverpool, Tottenham, that's, that's the way of the world, I'm afraid. Pablo, you, you know Pochettino personally. You played with him at, uh, at Espanyol about 15 years ago, slightly less than that. Would he improve Manchester United? An Allegri, maybe? Well, um, I mean, as, as sports say, you know, when uh, when you look at the both of them, what they did, uh, Pochettino, Spurs or Hampton, he's done well. He knows the English football. Uh, probably Allegri, he was very successful manager in Italy, but he, he doesn't have the experience of uh, English football. So, uh, I do believe Oli, he knows the club. He, he he knows more than anyone else. And I know it's been a quite, you know, probably tough, tough week for him. You know, they, they've been knocked out of the Champions League. I think today they, they needed to, to win a game to bring that confidence back and, and to believe again. OK, a point in a derby was a tricky game against a tough opponent, but... Um, 
we'll see. We'll see. Uh, Oli has been for two years now at Man United and, and, and give him a chance this season to prove himself, see if he can win some trophy. And then at the end of the season, you know, probably the right people will make uh, a decision if they need to sign him and bring Pochettino Allegri or someone else. I don't know. I know the right man to, to say that. Hmm. But, you know, in football, you always are under pressure. As a manager, result at everything in football and especially when you are in a, in a top club. 